ahead and buy a thousand shares of PTIE. I like this uh, breakout. Break out of the triangle or flag pattern. Nice, nice, nice. As long as 726. So we got our little, we got our flagpole right here. A symmetrical triangle or flag, whichever one you want to call it. Pretty much gonna do the same thing, which is break out one way or the other. And take the trade. That's it. My stop for PTIE is 655, but let me go ahead and sell a thousand. I'm long at 726. So a thousand up here at 805. Stop is now break even. But yet I'll move it to even 777. Seven sixty-two. Seven sixty-two. Uh, PTIE, like I said, it fell back. It did not create lower lows. So now you're just waiting for the stock to break out of the triangle with increased volume. And boom, right here, there you got it. It broke out. There's PTIE. So I'm gonna sell five hundred up there. Eight, what, 838 so I got 500 left that was a nice open very nice open go ahead and sell 250 up there at 9 906 with 250 left and I will put my stop roughly right here. So another hundred. Nine twenty. So I filled at nine nineteen. So now I have one hundred and fifty left on PTIE. Gilly is looking great. My stop is at 831. Yep. Alright, and I'm gonna flatten out of this PTIE. So that's it. I'm gonna step in that road crew at 4144. Alright, this is a U-shaped pattern. Looking for a balance at the bottom of the U. Price breaks through the resistance area, which is the top of the U. That's your entry. Occasionally, we'll get a pullback after the breakout. Sometimes it may form a little cup and handle, or sometimes it may just pull back one or two candles. So I'm going to put my stop right here at 4103. Let's see what it can do. All right, so Roku still hanging out around my entry me adjust this to 41 even looks like it's about to pull back a little bit right, so I'm down a little bit right now on Roku but still looking good got resistance up there 4170 I believe that might be yesterday yeah yesterday's high so that'll be my first target. Yesterday's high. So I'm still sitting in this Roku trade, waiting for it to take off. All right, Roku starting to push higher a little bit. I'm gonna sell 250 up here, 41.50. Now I'll move my stop up to break even. So 
See how far it can take me. So Roku's looking good. About to touch the highs of yesterday. So I'm gonna let, let another 500 go up here, 41, 67. All right, we got some buyers making new highs. There we go. So I got 250 left. I'm gonna go ahead and sell 100 up here around 42. And see what I get filled at. So I have 150 left on Roku. And I'm gonna move my stop up to 41.71. And if it hits my stop, that's it. And that is it for Roku. All right, so that's it for patterns. Got a bullish setup with the U-shaped pattern and bullish setup with the bullish flag or triangle, or some people may hear some people call it a pennant, but the whole premise of the actual setup is the same, whereas you got a bullish pole, slight pull back, you know, forming a new higher level of support, and you're looking for price to break out of that triangle or flag area. And with the U-shape, sellers push the stock lower it couldn't hold, formed a level of support or a level of balance at the bottom when buyers start to step in and then buyers push the stock higher. That formed the right side of the U. Once it breaks through that resistance, the top area, hey, the stock should take off. So understand the premise of each setup. It'll make your life a lot easier. I am the Bearded Trader. Have a great day.